Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Clay Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our channel, friends. If you like my readings, if they resonate, if you give them a little thumbs up, I just, ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm sending you little blessings. It really helps me push my um, content out into the algorithm. And it also lets me know what content is resonating with you. So, you know, I'm always keeping an eye out to see what kind of readings you guys would enjoy. Um, and I know you guys definitely enjoy the spicy readings. <laughs> so I heard from you guys last week. I absolutely love it. Honestly, I have so much fun doing these there. They can be a little unhinged. Like I never know what's going to come through. So, um, you know, it's, it's all for fun. Um, but as always, I'm going to tell you if I happen to bring something up that sounds triggering to you or um, you don't like what I'm talking about, you don't like who I'm talking about, I get it. Um, I, I completely understand. So just click off the reading because it's obviously not your story. Um, check out another group or just join us another day. Um, if you have an issue where you keep getting messages about the same person over and over in every pick a card that you listen to, um, you know, I, I've been saying this lately, it's time to take a break. Um, and sometimes it happens and you just need to let the energy go through, you know, circle through. But anyway, that's just a little bit of a side note. Let's get back to the spicy, the spicy read on this Friday. Um, I am going to try to add these regularly as always. If you guys have any suggestions, if you have other topics you'd like me to cover, feel free to leave me a comment. Please go down to the community page, um, and leave me a comment on the last post that I have, um, regarding the poll. I've been referencing back to that post and seeing what suggestions are on there. It's just a lot easier to have one place to look at the comments. Um, all right. So today we're going to be looking into, uh, speaking of spicy, I'm like, we haven't even talked about it. I'm, you guys don't care what I talk about today as long as it's spicy, right? <laughs> but today we're going to be looking into your next sexual encounter. Um, you guys, I almost feel like well, we need music. Don't you guys think it's time we add like a little bit of music to the channel? Um, but anyway, I feel like it would set the vibe right, but you know, copyrights and whatnot. Today we're going to be looking into, we're just going to be getting messages about this person, who it's going to be with, who are you going to be hooking up with? What are the vibes like between you guys? We'll be looking into what it will be like, what you can expect. We'll be pulling letters and charms. And then, you know, I love, um, doing our little messages, our little handwritten messages. Oh, we already got one. We already got one that fell out. I'm going to read it. Oh, bed. Maybe that's telling me to go to bed. Maybe someone's laying in bed watching this, listening to this. All right, friends, we have three groups to choose from. As always, you know what to do. Go with the timestamp or the sticker or whatever your process is to pick the group that is most calling you. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked a sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Today, we're going to be looking into your next, <laughs> your next sexy time encounter. You guys, who is this person? What are the vibes like? What will it be like? What can you expect? Um, we're going to be pulling letters and charms. We'll be getting some little handwritten messages um, and just getting as much information for you as possible and as much spicy details as possible. I do want to say um, two things the obvious, right? First and foremost, it is a collective reading. Please use your, your discernment. If I happen to talk about someone or something that doesn't make you feel comfortable, please feel free to click off of the reading. We would love to have you join us in another group or just join us another day. And then the second thing is because of the topic of this reading, I should say the intended topic of the reading, it is a spicy reading. It is 18 and over friends. So I just have to put those little disclaimers up there. All right, let's get to it. My group number ones. Let's see your next sexy time encounter, your next sexual encounter, my group number ones. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. What can you tell us the next time my group number ones get down, <laughs> get down with their person? What can you tell us about this person? Who will it be with? What are the vibes like? Who is this with? Oh, this is someone that you have a lot of fun with. It does feel fun. It feels hot, to be honest. Like, oh, but almost like uh, it doesn't feel super serious, right? 
is coming up as a page of wands. This is a, uh, I feel like this is something where you're like, I, you, it's at a point where you're just looking to have a good time. I think you're really enjoying yourself. Is what it feels like. Who is this with? We have the tower reversed. Almost like, I feel like you're, you're, um, I almost said no strings attached, but it's almost like you're okay with it because this is just almost like serving the purpose that you want it to right now. It's making you happy <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> this person is fun. I'm not going to lie. They're either like funny or they're just like really exciting. For some of you, this is someone that you've already hooked up with in the past. Who is this, please? So this could be someone, it's like, I don't think the conversation's too deep. That King of Swords came out sideways with that page of wands. It's someone that has fun. You know what? This person is funny. I do feel like they make you laugh or they kind of, they put you at ease. I feel like you feel like you can trust this person. I feel like there's a comfort level here where it doesn't feel like they're giving you any kind of like weird vibes or anything like that. I mean, I don't know why they would since we're talking about your next your next encounter, but you never know. We have Libra. We have air and fire showing up, especially Leo. We also have Scorpio or the Nine of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Why the Sun card? Oh, okay. Look at, <laughs> look what I have for you. Um, yeah, you guys, for some of you, for some of you, how many people are here? <laughs> no, it feels like it's this person. It does feel like some of you already know this person. Listen, this isn't a deep, intense, soul, mind-bending, reality-tripping, earth-shattering connection. <laughs> I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that it's fun. I'm getting that um, you know what the deal is. I think you have a good time with this person. I think you guys um, are either going to go out with them or have some drinks or just have a good time. There is some kind of good time that's had leading up to this. It doesn't feel like they just show up in the dark. I mean, they could, but it doesn't feel like this particular time. It feels like there's some kind of um, buildup to hooking up, right? Now... I feel like you, earlier I said, like, it feels like you can trust this person or it's like, you feel like they're pretty truthful. It's like, it is what it is. Like they're not lying to you or they're not telling you that this is something that it's not. It's like, I feel like there's a clear understanding here, but I also feel like this is someone who, yeah, it feels, it feels like you enjoy their company. So we'll just leave it at that. This might even be someone that like cheers you up. Like you might be having like some kind of bad day or bad time, or maybe you're kind of in a bad mood over like the state of your life or the world or, and then this comes in and it's like, whoop, well, that was fun. <laughs> so um, more fire. Obviously we have the king of wands two times, someone who's very passionate. This person, I also kind of feel like they know what they're doing, like their moves. They might have some moves. Um, this person might have rhythm. I am sensing rhythm for some of you. Um, a little bit of hip action. <laughs> no, but that's interesting that I pick up on rhythm for them. They might like to dance or there might be something about music. This person, um, it's funny because even though they're like having a good time, it's like once you guys are like getting down, they kind of like take over. Whereas leading up to it, they might be more playful, more reserved, more pulled back. When it's go time, they're like, it's go time. You're like, you know, if this is a guy, they're like poking you with their boner. <laughs> but it's like, you're into it. You're like, yeah, this, this is good. <laughs> Someone here might have like a pet. They're bringing me to the small, they're bringing my eyes to the small animals on the cards. 
lots of passion. I, you are very attracted to this person. And the fact that they're smart or that they're good with their words, they're very charming. That's like an extra. All right. Group number one. Let's get into it. Let's see. So the vibes feel fun. The vibes feel good so far. Now let's see what your actual encounter will be like with this person. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group number one. What can you tell us, please? Oh, as the cards are getting all wild on me. What will their next sexual encounter be like with this person? What will it be like, please? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. What will their next encounter be like? What will their next sexual encounter be like? What can they expect? This person, huh? You can't expect this person to get you all wound up. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> messages for my group number ones what will it be like what will it be like this eight of cups in reverse this returning energy sorry i can't i can't uh, get around it guys this person's kind of a giver mm, this person's a giver huh all right we'll leave it at that for now what will it be like please Oh, okay. So, um, obviously you can, everyone's preferences are different. Everyone's into something different for those of you that this would apply to. It's like, you're, you're on your knees for sure. At some point with this person, they really like that from you that, but there's something, it's not just like the actual you like giving them head. It's, there's something about the, the power of like standing over you that like turns them on. And then here you are, Queen of Pentacles. You guys be careful. Um, I, there's just like fertile energy and they keep drawing my eyes to the bunnies or this could just mean someone, you guys do it like bunnies with this person. <laughs> you will be, but what do bunnies do? You guys, what do bunnies do? Um, they're good at multiplying. Mm. This person wants to return a favor, <clears throat> something that they view as a favor. So maybe if you've already gone down on them, it's like they definitely want to return the favor. And this time or whenever your next experience is, and even if this is a brand new person, um, it feels like you're going to be getting something out of this. It's going to make you really happy. And it feels like it's just focused on you. So we'll, we'll leave it there. Now, if your past experiences have been that you're the giver, you're the one that kind of ends up, um, on the back burner, it doesn't feel like it's going to be like this. Now, for those of you that already know who this person is, it's like this person knows you, you guys, there's some kind of history here and it's like, they know something. Maybe someone here has kind of been keeping the score. One for you, one for me, one for you, two for me. Look at this person. This person wants to dominate you. Yeah, they do. And you think it's really hot. Not going to lie. You think it's hot. There's some kind of, um, for those of you that are maybe, um, have been married or have kids or are a little more seasoned in the game where you've had a long-term relationship that maybe the sex would just the fizzled out into nothing or it was just the <laughs> that's all i need to say if you apply to the the you know what i'm talking about um this person like lights you up lights you on fire that's all this earth energy capricorn taurus virgo all right, why the Eight of Cups in reverse, please? This person, um, okay, this person, this is funny. I'm getting like doggy style. I'm getting like from behind. Again, there's just something where they like a power move. They like to be in a power move. Now they like to pleasure you, but they like to be in control of that. Meaning like if they can control the rhythm, again, there's something about rhythm, 
um, if they can control the rhythm or the the depth, <laughs> the motion. Um, it feels like they really enjoy that. Now, switch the roles if you need to. The energies could land anywhere. But that's just what I'm talking about. We have the tower. It did come out sideways. So for those of you that this is someone who's returning, it's like there may be, um, they're just looking to reconnect with you. I do feel like it's going to be kind of sudden regardless if it's a new person or if it's someone that's returning. Um, someone likes to use their hands. I see hand jobs. I see fingers. Like there's all kinds of stuff going on with the hands. Real fun. Lots of fun. Lots of teasing as well. Lots of attraction. For some of you, it could have been a while, maybe. Why is the Ace of Pentacles? Um, I see a lot of drooling. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Someone here is pretending like they're not already, yeah, like they're not here for it. Not that they're not here for it, but it's like, almost like we're trying to hide our intentions that I see an opportunity to come in that's why it might be sudden like maybe you don't see this person coming also this person um they're looking to try something maybe new well especially that doesn't apply to those of you that this is a new person if this is someone that you have already hooked up with it's almost like they're trying to be sneaky or like do something I don't know with that ace of pentacles it makes me feel like they're going to take some kind of opportunity but they're not being upfront about it so watch out <laughs> um all right five of wands in reverse and why the sun card yeah it feels like you guys um like there's a level of of uh either friendship here. I mean, it could be if it's a friends with benefits, right? And maybe that's why we're hiding the fact that that's why we're, you know, those goofy ass, like, I, I feel like I've even seen a meme about it. Like the goofiest 20 minutes are when you first show up pretending you're not going to hook up or like, <laughs> maybe it's the goofy, <laughs> the goofy time where we're really pretending like we're not here to do it. We're really pretending that this isn't going to turn into this other thing. Why the Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords, please? Why the Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords? For some of you, I don't, not for everyone, but for some of you, there's something about, they're like, they're putting in some kind of new work or new effort. They're also spending time. They're like investing into this. The Seven of Swords is interesting though, because it makes me feel like they're spending time on you because they want to like m make sure that you're good or they want to make sure that they leave like a good impression. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're kind of faking it a little bit. They act more confident than they really are. Again, because it kind of feels like they might be trying something new. Maybe it's something that they thought of or I don't know, something that they saw. Because <laughs> this person wants to make you finish. Um... Yeah, this is, uh, this, look, the, my, the candle just went out when I said they want to make you finish because it feels like they don't, they're not sure if they have or that they will, or I don't know. It almost seems like they're putting some kind of real energy, real thought into that, or they're putting in some kind of moves, trying to get you, you know, trying to get you to the edge, my friends. They, they're like pulling out the stops when it comes to their moves. It's interesting. Now they're showing up as a magician. So maybe some of you are like into using toys. Like maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of situation where we're doing that and this at the same time. This person's trying to hold back. They're trying, they're going to try to hold back and not come is what it feels like. This person's a... 
I will say it feels like they're putting in the effort. My group number twos. Yeah, this person's trying to hold back. It's almost like if they don't, it'll be over. It'll be over. <laughs> we have the ace of wands and we have the two of cups. They feel that um, they're afraid of disappointing is kind of what I keep getting because I keep getting these indicators, this five of cups disappointment, and it's like they're putting in some kind of effort. They don't want to disappoint you. They want to leave some kind of good impression. Well, I must say this person, it does seem like they care about how their performance or how their, how they give pleasure comes across. I do think you're happy. It feels like, I, I feel like you feel good about this. It doesn't feel any kind of weird energy. Look at that. You guys are going to be doing something new with this person. Maybe they've never like flipped you over and like, you know, did it from the back, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I like to tee Listen, we have all signs showing up, but majors are Scorpio, Sagittarius. We have all fire signs. I have to say that because that king of wands just taken over with his wand. We have Leo, of course, fire. You guys know Leo always wants their, um, their extra time, their extra attention. All right, let's pull some more cards for you guys. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What will their next sexual encounter be like? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones. What can you tell us, please? What, what can they expect? What will this be like? Intuition, creativity. I'm telling you, this person's like gonna, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna move your leg that way when normally it went this way. <laughs> we have cleanse. Intuition, creativity, and death. Someone's going to be finishing. Someone's getting creative. The cleanse makes me think of a lot of water, a lot of fluids. You guys know. You guys know how I bring up body fluids. You could already know who this person is or that this is going to end up happening with a specific person with that intuition card. This person might also kind of, okay, funny to say, this person could be an intuitive lover. Like they might notice like shifts within you or like, I don't know, this person's trying to pleasure you on some other realm in some other realm. Ooh, you guys, this says your magic eight ball message says you already know anyway. Then we have Mr. Salty. Oh, hmm. <laughs> The little face looks all grimaced. I don't know what that's talking about. I could I don't know what that's talking about. Maybe this person's a little salty. Maybe there's something about how they taste. I don't know. And then we have money is coming. I'm I'm uh, focusing on is coming. Someone's going to be coming. It's funny that money, because <clears throat> I know a few of you, I feel like on some of the spicy reads, you've pointed out that they feel like it's related to sex work not using those words, but still, and maybe it is. I don't know. There are no judgments here. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure there's um, workers in the collective. These messages are for everybody. All right. We have emotions are running high super moon. So there could be something about um, a super moon around this time. What else do we have? We have South Node and we have New Moon and Leo. Some more Leo energy coming through. Confidence is your key to success. That's your person, you guys. Your person might be a Leo. Um, they're all Leoing out in bed, trying to pull the moves on you. Their emotions are all running high. And then we have, don't let your past hold you back. Some of you, it could be a return. I don't know. I feel like you're having a good time with this person, though. Let's get some, some of these little guys for you. And then let's pull some, some of these some letters. All right. I wasn't even planning on using those moon cards. I don't even know why I reached over to grab them, but we'll go with it. We have, oh, look what that says. <laughs> we'll leave that like that. We have X, sex, kink, 
kink w we have lots of kink h i thigh someone likes your thighs someone's going to grab you by the thighs kiss wide someone might open your legs yeah <laughs> someone might yeah it's a sexy read it definitely might happen oh my gosh you guys i'm telling you all right those are your letters and let's see what messages we have here in case you can't see these they have h g d so w c u k k i s x w k h g d then we have a deep kissing okay so this person likes to kiss i am getting that they're passionate but that would make sense especially if they're a fire sign okay um reverse cowgirl slash booty so this person does like your booty so there is something about your thighs your legs your booty this person likes to <laughs> i can't with myself this person likes to spread them <laughs> you guys know how i get if you know how i get you know and you don't like it well i'm sorry <laughs> um no but back to the reversing there's something about from the back. I was picking that up. This person either likes it from the back. They like, um, maybe that might be it. That they might be turn. They might turn you around. Remember I was saying like your leg normally goes that way, but this time it's going this way. Um, it might be because they want to see it bounce. My friends, they want to see it bounce. <laughs> we have a new, you are going to be doing something new with them. They have a new move up their sleeve that they've been thinking that they want to try with you, or this could be a new person. We have a time is had. You are going to be mm, smiling and flashbacking the next day, telling your friends, perhaps. I don't know. We have grab. This person does like to grab you. Again, I'm getting that they like to grab your legs, your thighs, your booty. We have yes. You're just going to be saying yes. Yes, let's do this. Lights on. This person likes to see it bounce. I'm not joking. They like to see it bounce. If you feel, I don't think you feel self-conscious, but if you have a, a voluminous body that has a lot of jiggle to it, the more jiggle, the better. My group number one, this person likes the jiggle. We have wet. This person gets you very turned on. Again, bodily fluids. We're going to put this here. In a sexy read, I like body leaf fluids. <laughs> we have take it off. This person is telling you just take it off. Um, interesting. You might have like your panties on still and they're like, take them off. And you're like, okay, we have irresistible. You literally cannot say no. <laughs> you don't want to say no. Then we have lipstick. You might have your lipstick on. It is going to end up smeared. My group number ones. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you had as much fun as I did, honestly. Thank you for letting me read for you. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, I hope you come back to the channel next time. And please take care of yourselves. And yeah, I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. You know why you're here. You are here to uh, get a reading on your next sexy time encounter, friends, your next sexual encounter. We're going to be looking into um, getting messages about this person, who it's going to be with, what the vibes are going to be like, what um, the actual encounter is going to be like, what you can expect. We'll be pulling some letters and charms. And then, of course, I have my little handwritten messages right here that we'll be pulling from. Before we dive into all that fun stuff, though, I do have to say two things. The first is obviously because of the topic. Um, this is an 18 plus reading, friends. And the other is it's super important for you to use your discernment. Remember, this is a collective reading on YouTube. If I happen to talk about something that makes you feel uncomfortable or it doesn't sound like it's for you or it's someone that keeps coming up and you don't want to hear about them, I understand. All you have to do is click off of the reading, friends. Go check out another reading or join us another day. Um, yeah. And with all that being said, let's begin. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, their next sexual encounter. Who is it with? What can you tell us about this person? And what are the vibes? My group number two's next sexy time encounter. What can you tell us? Who is it with? And what are the vibes? Thank you, Spirit. Who is my group number two is going to be hooking up with? Who is it with? What can you tell us about this person? And what are the vibes? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Who is this person? Who are they going to be hooking up with? Thank you, Spirit. 
Okay. Single and ready to mingles. <laughs> we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Guru. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Oh, we're not playing games. Okay. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Hangman in reverse. Who's this with? Who's my group number two is going to be hooking up with? Who's our next encounter with? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you were thinking of waiting or some of you were thinking of, I don't know. We'll see. Holding back in some way. Why the Guru? Why the Five of Swords in reverse? This is someone who's I feel is really important to you or... You guys share um, the same culture, same traditions, same beliefs. Maybe you're the same race or the same. Um, yeah, it feels like tr there's something about traditions or people or the things we believe in. It feels like um, there's a nice harmony that comes through with that. There is no question about it. There is an understanding here. It, this feels like it's somewhat important to you. Even if you guys don't match up on those things that I just mentioned, you guys still match up on some kind of soul level. And it feels really nice. Um, this is soulmate energy. Um, you know, it, not to sound dramatic, but it does feel like it's someone that you have some type of connection with. This is someone that in the past you could have questioned or things felt like they were at a stalemate or we were, there was a lot of uncertainty and it feels like that's been stripped away. It feels like it's been long enough or maybe it's been long enough since you've had sex that um, you're now viewing this differently. Because this seems to come up unexpectedly. You weren't planning for this or if you, yeah, there, the planning stages were short if there was planning stages. And out of nowhere, this comes in. This person makes it very clear or there's something very unexpected that happens. We're having a real good time as well. This person also respects your beliefs. So let's say that this is something that you don't want to have sex. You just want to fool around. You don't want to, you know, go the whole, the, you have a, you have fine print to what you're willing to do or what you want to do or what you feel comfortable with. It feels like this person's right um, on the same page as you. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer coming through. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse? Who is this? We have the Five of Cups in reverse, and then we have the King of Wands. Again, it's almost like no hard feelings, like no hard feelings, meaning I get it, like don't feel bad. I don't, like, there's just an understanding. Not that you would feel bad, but you know what I mean. It's like maybe it's because they respect your morals, your beliefs, what you're trying to do how you want something to be right or how you want, you know, I, I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel like it's this random casual encounter. Not saying it's not, but if it is, there's more to it than that. Then if this is a casual encounter, I wouldn't be surprised if this continues on. Like if, if there's something like this is just the beginning, you know, um, and it could be with this tower, there's something very unexpected that happens. And it's like, there's no holding back or there's no coming back from it. We have the Knight of Wands. This person is super horny over you. Um, they definitely are very passionate in the moment. And I think you know that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that even before you guys get started, you're going to know that this person is like hot for you. It's going to be very obvious. <sighs> very obvious. <laughs> um yeah it could even be like poking you on your leg <laughs> all right let's continue who is this person this person's also single i don't know why that's i mean it's important to know but that's also coming through why the nine of pentacles with the six of wands in reverse maybe you're more traditional as well not more traditional than this person, but maybe you're more like a little more reserved or you're trying to, you know, you're, you're trying to live a certain way, especially when it comes to like intimacy is what it feels like. 
but this feels like someone that um, you're going to be having a hot time with. I will say that. You could have been fantasizing about this person because it's been a long time coming, or you could have been fantasizing about just having sex. <laughs> if it's been a long time coming, it really depends if this is a new person or if it's someone you already know, and that's going to be different for everyone. But use your use your um, intuition on that. All right. So those are the vibes, and that's a little bit about the person. So let's see. Let's get to the fun stuff. Let's see what the actual encounter will be like, my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group number twos. My group number twos, please. What will their encounter with this person be like? What will their encounter with this person be like? What will it be like? What will their next sexual encounter with this person be like? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What can they expect? What can they expect? Their next encounter. What will it be like? What can they expect? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. We have the Empress. All right. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Sun card, Leo energy. What will the encounter be like, please? Well, it's slow and steady. This person, um, it feels like there's going to be focus on you. Or maybe there's like a little bit of indecision. Like, is this going to happen or is it not going to happen? Because it feels like there's some kind of buildup, but there's also something that we're going really slow, the pace of it. And there's some holding back that's going on. Maybe there's even some, uh, I wonder if like when you guys are with this person, if it's going to be like, are we doing this or are we not? Why the Empress? What's this encounter going to be like? We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So something again, the world in reverse. Why the sun? Death. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Oh. Listen. So if you're, if you're the femme, this feels, so this feels like um, there's going to be focus on you at first. There's, this person likes to watch you as well. This person likes to watch you, you know, they like to watch you. So basically, um, I'm going to go ahead and say, it feels like this person wants to focus on you first because it's a way to slow things down, but it also feels like you're taking your time. This feels like you're teasing this person, or this feels like, you know, you're in control or you know that you feel, first of all, you feel very good in this situation. You, you look good. You smell good. It's like things are right and tight is what it's feeling like. It's like you were ready for this. Um, and there's this wanting to like take it slow and like prolong things. So maybe you're like um, slowly like touching this person or like slowly like kind of, you know, doing things. I am getting the feeling though that they like to watch you. So some of you might be, some of you might be putting on some kind of like show for this person, some kind of little dance, some kind of little shimmy, <laughs> some kind of little booty shake, <laughs> or you just know you look good and you're just like kind of, um, I, or maybe it's even like seducing because it does feel seductive. And it feels like you know what you're doing. They're very attracted to your confidence as well. And it feels like someone here is going to be finishing. Like, I think both of you are, but someone, this death card, bringing an ending, a happy, literally, it's like a happy ending. Maybe, um, maybe you're not like, maybe you guys aren't like fully like having sex with this person. Maybe it's like you're literally like hand job or like going down. I'm not saying that it's just you to them, but I'm not sure if there's like full on, full, full on sex going on. 
because it feels like there's a little bit of indecision and wanting to hold back. There's also a sense here where you don't want to do anything that you regret. So you are, you're, uh, you got some kind of, uh, terms and terms and, uh, conditions perhaps. What else, please? What can you tell us about this actual encounter? Thank you, spirit messages from my group number twos. Oh, the emperor. Oh, the emperor. <laughs> This is someone, this is someone who kind of matches you that maybe they have a, maybe you guys are similar in age or in vibe, lifestyle. Um, you have similar things going on. Maybe you guys are same culture, tradition, race, beliefs. Maybe you guys are both parents. Maybe that's why you're freed up. I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of like, this feels like slower energy. It feels like teasing. It feels like we're having fun. But it also feels like we're not trying to rush. We're not, we're not trying to move too fast. We're not trying to do something that we're going to regret later. Why this nine of pentacles, please? Why this nine of pentacles? What's this encounter going to be like for my group number twos? Ace of cups. So this feels like it's a new beginning after a while. Maybe you were feeling bored in your love life or in your sex life. And this feels like it's just what you needed. <laughs> Ace of Cups. If you guys watch these spicy readings, you know the Ace of Cups for me is someone. Someone's going to finish. We have the Tower. We have Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, there's something hiding behind the Queen of Wands. The King of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So someone's a little bit um, held back. There's a lot of attraction. Maybe that's why things have been moving slow. But this seems like it's an unexpected encounter that this happens with this person. I'm going to say, guys, I don't know if I see you having having sex. I don't think I see it. I think I see you being like, no. But I'm willing to do this over here, this other thing. We also have Virgo with this um, hermit card. Let me see what else. What else do I see? I see I see you holding your own. I see this person also holding their own. It feels like you guys are two adults that know what's going on. But I definitely feel like there's a reason why you're pumping the brakes. But whatever this encounter is, it's enough. It's it's enough. It's like you're you're content. It gives you something to think about. It gives you something to think about after. It's spontaneous enough. It spices things up for you. It gives you a better idea or a better indicator of something. And I think you walk away feeling good or you, there's like no regrets, right? Because it doesn't seem like you crossed whatever line may have, um, you had put there. All right. So if this is just like someone that you have a, that you go on a date with or something like that. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like you're going to rush into anything. Just enough to add some spice into your life. There's going to be a moment though, where you feel maybe a little like unsure. You're, you're, you're thinking about it. Should I, shouldn't I? And I think you're going to decide not to is what it feels like most of you, because you are going back and forth. You guys might be thinking about family or like bigger things, right? I don't know. For some reason, you're like, meh. <laughs> My group never do. I'm telling you, these readings are unexpected. All right. So that's a little bit about what it will be like. My group number twos. Let's get you guys some messages and some oracle cards. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos, please. What can they expect their next encounter? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos. What can they expect their next encounter? We have love, confidence, cleanse. That could be loving yourself. Cleanse could be you're cleansing your energy. We have growth. And we have sadness. We have rest. 
like once you're healed, life gets boring. <laughs> once you're healed, you're no longer saying yes to the things that'll make for great for trauma and great stories later, right? Um, yeah, so I don't think you guys are going to go all the way with this person, but I definitely don't think it's a bad thing. It feels like it's your growth that's showing. And like I'm telling you, that sadness that I'm focusing on the little pouty face. We have love and confidence. Maybe that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for true love and you're having the confidence to like wait. Or you just want to foster this um, and, and have the confidence in this connection with this person. It really depends, um, depending on how connected you are. We have Nintendo Game Boy. Don't play their game. That's how you could be feeling where you don't want to fall into someone's game, especially if you're getting to know them. Maybe you feel like you've been fooled before and you don't want to feel like that again. There does seem to be something here that's holding you back. We have thanks for the memories. So again, uh, maybe this is in reference to the past where you thought you were having a good time with someone and then they disappeared or they went around or things didn't really work out. Maybe things moved too fast. And even though there's good memories, maybe that's all that's left. It's these little pictures on this disposable camera. It's funny because when I brought up that once we're healed, life feels kind of boring. Maybe that's kind of it. And then we have, oh, you have a Game Boy and Talk Girl. We have keep all your receipts. So maybe you're keeping tabs on this person or this situation. Um, there's something here. I feel like your oh, your level of awareness is is a uh, is I don't know. It's a wearing. <laughs> your level of awareness is a wearing somewhere. I know that's not a word, but there's something about your level of awareness that's um, kind of guiding you as to what you want to do. All right, we have W W U K K I. So I think of kiss with all these K's. Maybe lots of kissing. Maybe that's that's as far as it goes. We have T O. We have lots of X, triple X. <laughs> we have M, N, T, mount, toy. Some of you guys could prefer your toy because at least that won't leave you with regrets. Hey, toy R. I think toy regret. We're all friends here, guys. All right, let's get you guys some little messages before we close out your reading. Thank you, Spirit. You guys didn't get too many. That does not surprise me, considering your messages. We have flashbacks. So there's something here, flashbacks. You're thinking back. Maybe you'll even be thinking back to last night, keeping all the receipts. Um, again, there's this energy where you don't want to have regrets. Maybe you kind of have a feeling that this person would bail. We have candles. So someone here could light candles. There could be candles involved in the situation. Maybe there's something about a fragrance that reminds you of something. We have music. So I think of ambiance. Maybe there's music or certain smells that bring back memories. Oh, smell, bitches. Am I psychic or what? Listen, your mind is elsewhere or you're thinking back. There's going to be some kind of memories. Thanks for the memories. Flashbacks, candles, smell, and music. Honestly, with this gift, and this is what I decide to do with it, do sex reads on YouTube. I'm telling you. <laughs> My group number two is I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this reading entertaining. Um, I hope it made sense. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. You know why you're here. You're here to <laughs> look into your next sexual encounter. Friends, when I tell you group ones and twos, definitely surprised me. I got, I, I, I got no expectations, but at the same time, I have high expectations by group number threes. Today, we're going to be looking into a couple of things. We'll be looking into a little bit about this person that you'll be hooking up with and what the vibes are like. And then we'll be checking in on what the actual encounter will be like and what you can expect. We'll be pulling some letters and some charms. And then I also have my little pre-written little messages there. Um, there's two things I have to address before we jump into your reading today. The first and foremost is obviously because of the topic, this is an 18 plus reading. 
just throwing that out there. The second is it's so important for you to use your discernment, my group number threes. If I happen to make you uncomfortable or talk about something that is confusing you or it doesn't sound like something you'd be involved with or wanting or a person, whatever it might be, feel free to click off of the reading. You can choose another group or you can catch another reading or we'll see you another day. All right, my group number threes, let's get to it. <laughs> tee -hee -hee. I've been tee -hee the whole time. All right, thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group number threes. My group number threes, please. What can you tell us, this person? What can you tell us about this person that my group number threes will be having their next sexy time encounter? What can you tell us about who this person is and what the vibes will be like? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Their next sexual encounter. Who will it be with? What can you tell us about the vibes? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Who is this with? What can you tell us about the vibes? What can you tell us, please? Who will this be with? Lovers. I just heard reunited and it feels so good. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm already getting indicators. It doesn't have to be, but for some of you, this is someone that you already know not it's okay don't run away just yet hold on <laughs> it's not for everybody so i'm almost scared to say messages for my group number threes please who is this who's this person their next sexual encounter thank you spirit messages for my group number threes oh you guys want this bad you guys want this with this person it's go time baby Ooh, the vibes the vibes are immaculate. Pheromones and vibes, friends. This is like a dream come true for some of you. You guys have been wanting this or wanting an experience like this. Whoever this is, I feel like they have romantic feelings for you. There is feelings involved and there is fun. There could be drinking involved. There is definitely like hangout or a feeling of I, I want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. And then I want to be inside you. <laughs> We have the star card, Aquarius energy, and then we have the magician. So it does feel like there's been some kind of struggle to make this happen. Um, yeah, it feels like there's been struggle with communication. So this, this, if this is a returning person, this is someone you're currently on a break from, or there is no communication right now. We have the, oh, excuse me. We have the fool. So this could be you manifesting someone like this if it's not someone you already know. Why the Nine of Cups, please? Who is this with? Definitely a new beginning, regardless of whoever it's with. We, we want to get down. For those of you that already know who this is, it feels like there's been something started. And we want to, we know it's not finished. Whatever happened last time, it wasn't enough or it's going to happen again. Something like that. Now, for others of you, you could meet this person while you're out. There is a feeling here of moving ahead or going ahead or travel. We just lost a bunch of cards. All right, friends, I actually had to get up for that one. But look what, look what it was. This is someone. This is someone that you feel. This feels like it's new love, but or a renewal or a reconciliation. And this feels like there's a lot of authenticity behind it. It feels like there's healing. It feels like there's understanding. It feels like we have things in common. We might care about the same things or feel like we can build together. I don't know. It just feels like it's there's some kind of bond here. And there's a yeah, <laughs> there's a bond, definitely. Putting it mildly. Look at all these cups. They're like the good cups. They're, they're up in the air too. It's like we're presenting them, you know? These are a, a displayed. These are up in the air. We're cheering. This one's being offered. This one's being offered. These are being offered. This is someone that you're very happy to be around or to move forward with or to have some kind of, um, I feel like you're happy. <laughs> All right. So equal indicators that it's returning or it's someone new. So that's not really, you guys can take it how it applies. Thank you, Spirit. 
Now it feels if the, these, those of you that are, this is the first time or this is, you haven't met this person yet, it feels like the way you meet them, it's almost like magical or it's like the, when you start talking, it's like there's instant spark. Oh yeah. For some of you, you're already in love with this person if you know who they are or you can have deep feelings for them. It doesn't feel like it's just sex. It feels like it's tender. It feels like there's emotion behind it. Um, lots of, lots of fluids. <laughs> we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Aries, Aquarius as well. Aquarius again, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. We have Leo, strong, strength. Oh, interesting. I said strong. This person might be strong. Um, you guys might have a strong bond is what I was going to say. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This could be a long time coming or someone that's been kind of a slow mover because there's been some kind of break. Maybe this is just in your um, sex life where things have been a little dormant and now you're ready for some loving. Either way, it feels like there's going to be loving pouring out of someone. I don't know. I'll just leave it there. Okay. <laughs> My group number three is let's get to the fun stuff. Let's see what the encounter will be like. The vibes feel lovey. The vibes feel good. The vibes feel like they're vibing, but let's see what the actual encounter will be like. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What will this encounter be like with this person? Thank you, spirit. What will their next sexual encounter be like? What can they expect? What can my group number threes expect? What can my group number threes expect? What will this encounter be like? For some of you, this might be at your home. It doesn't have to be, but I just got the the Queen of Pentacles and the um and the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups and the Strength card. What will this encounter be like? What will the next sexual encounter be like? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. We have Two of Swords. We have the Hierophant. What will their next sexual encounter be like? Thank you, Spirit. We have... So I'm almost wondering if you're not sure if this is going to happen or not because this person's been taking their time. It's like maybe they have responsibilities or something. There's something very... Um, traditional about this person if you're dealing with a man it could be they're like a they're very much about their role they might have a lot of responsibilities they don't show emotion very easy but they do show you something or they 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 show you like a different side to them that's why it almost feels like maybe you already know this person or there's already something kind of brewing before you guys get to this point. We have strong Taurus and Aries energy. Lots of earth, lots of very slow moving. All right, we're going to see. Oh, they come to you. <laughs> They're sweet talking you. It's really hard for this person to talk to you or to communicate with you. And there's a lot of indecision. Um, this, this might even be like when you guys are hanging out or talking it's like you're not even sure if it's gonna are we gonna do it it's like is this gonna end up happening because this person's just holding back it's like we've been flirting we've been sharing emotions we've been having a good time there's been little touches i do feel like the flirting involves like touches on the arm or the leg or the this and then there's just like kind of a stalemate where it's like okay are they gonna make a move are they going to make a move? <laughs> All right, let's see. Why the Hierophant? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us about this actual encounter? My group number three is next sexual encounter. What can you tell us? What is it going to be like? Oh, unexpected. Why the Emperor? Why the Emperor? What's the next sexual encounter going to be like? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Why the Ace of Pentacles? And why the Knight of Pentacles? Interesting. It keeps talking about rest or sleep or something took a while or timing. It, it, 
there, there's a lot brewing. Okay, so first of all, let me just say, this kind of feels like a group that we've been fantasizing about this or each other for a while before it actually happens or before it happens again for some of you that this is a return. Now, I am feeling that your next encounter, it doesn't start off passionate and sexual. It, it, it is flirty and you guys could be out on a date, but like during, while you guys are hanging out with this person, whatever it is you're doing, if it's just hanging out at home or if it's actually out with them, it just feels like you're trying to kind of gauge them or you're trying to figure out if they're going to put a move on you. Um, cause it feels like we almost expect them to be, to make the move. We want them to be the ones that do it. I'm going to check to see if they are, cause I want to see what catches you by surprise here with this hierophant. Maybe what catches you by surprise is how maybe you guys are compatible or how knowledgeable someone is here. <laughs> how, how their moves. Do they catch you by surprise? I don't know. We'll see. It feels like this person like wants to spend some time on you. We have the Empress here and we have, we have heavy Libra energy. We have the justice and we have the magician, this person, they want to spend some time on you. They want to make something right. I see the, uh, I see hands. There's something about using hands there, but there's also a lot of touch. You guys have, um, so we're going to call this, this, I was just calling them sexual encounter, but honestly, yours feels like intimacy. I'm all intimacy. <laughs> That's not what we asked about. I'm totally kidding. You guys, I'm totally kidding. It just feels like it's, it, it just feels like it's more intimate to be honest. Because it doesn't feel like it's swept away with crazy passion. The passion is here. Don't get me wrong. And you guys are going to be getting down. But I don't think it happens until like late, later, or just it takes its time. It's definitely not the first thing we go to. You might even be wondering like, oh, is this person going to do anything? Are we going to do anything? You might be dropping hints. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This there's a focus here on you guys. You guys have been manifesting something here. It's funny because they're not showing me too much about the actual encounter. They're showing me everything that it took to get here. And there's almost like a lot of energy or effort that it took. Maybe you guys work a lot or they do, or you guys both have like a lot of things going on or responsibilities. I mean, these are two adults, right? Um, but that emperor can sometimes ha hold a high position or some kind of position. All right, let's continue. So we have the fool, the knight of wands, the lovers, and the wheel of fortune. There's something about timing here. Timing and anticipation. This feels like it's going to be kind of spontaneous. For some of you, you guys could be friends. Maybe um, some of you are parents as well. And that kind of adds to the timing of things, of why timing is important. All right, what else? What's the actual encounter going to be like? Thank you, Spirit. What's their next sexual encounter going to be like? It's like this encounter is full of a lot of opportunity. And it's like someone's focused here on moving things in a more positive direction or, or or in a better place. So if, so if this is someone that you've already hooked up with in the past, maybe in the past, they've kind of let you down in some way. Maybe um, they didn't satisfy you or I don't know, maybe because it's been so long, if it has been a while, I don't know, there's just something here that it feels like they're wanting to heal, but it does feel like it, it like there was some kind of break involved before this happened, before this reunion happened. Listen, the weird thing is that I kind of feel um, that when this happens, you're not talking to this person like up until this point. I don't know why. It just feels like it kind of comes out of nowhere. I didn't do this for the other groups, but I'm going to pull one more time. My group number three. I'm all whispering like they're going to hear. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> My 
group number three is just go with it. Just go with it. And let's see what else we can learn about this encounter. I don't know what kind of encounter this is. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What else can you tell us, please? What will it be like? What will my group number three's next sexual encounter with this person be like? What else can we know about the next time my group number three hooks up with this person? What can we know? It keeps saying something about like returning or coming back or I don't know, guys. I just saw Hermit in reverse and I keep seeing Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the world in reverse. It's like you might already have like unfinished business with someone. And that's what this is saying. Um, Because it feels like there's some effort that's taken. And then this hierophant, this, this uh, Taurus energy. And then there's the, there's the D showing up. <laughs> there's your, there's your uh, special package. It's like, is this person trying to come in and like wifey you up or like, is your dynamic like you guys are, are wifey up? Like I, 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 there's almost like something that's like, it's almost like two people that could be married, but they're not. Now I know that that sounds weird, especially depending on what the person, who the person is or what the circumstance is, but it just feels like there's something so serious here. And then now there's like this passion and this spark between you guys. You guys might be um, very familiar with this person or just when they're with you, you guys just feel like it's a relationship. I don't know. Very interesting energies coming through. And I can't help. There's like a, some kind of stop and go. There's a lot of compatibility here, but for some reason, things haven't been able to move forward in the past or just things have been kind of left unfinished. There is some kind of, like I said, effort that needs to be put in kind of bringing you guys together, but that would make sense if you guys both have like a lot going on. We have the queen of wands in reverse. This is someone that I think has kind of put you in your feels in the past or they've kind of made you upset, there might be some kind of like regrets or something about their position or their responsibilities or how things are. Why the Ace of Wands? Magician. Yeah, it feels like someone here is trying to pull out the stops. And there's something about the long term with this person. I don't know. Family work, home, some is very important to this person. And I can't tell if they're coming to you with that energy or if that's where this is heading. I don't know. It seems deeper than just a, we were just asking for a spicy time <laughs> for the three of pentacles. And there's something about this getting you in your head or you kind of just, there's something about distance. There's some uncertainty here. So your next encounter is with someone that I feel you already have something established with, or you have some kind of bond going. It, I'm telling you, I didn't get really too many indicators of your spicy time. Maybe you guys are going to come together and play house for a little bit. And maybe it's not just playing. Maybe it's manifesting that that's where this is going to move into. But it feels like there's an, a cycle here that isn't quite done yet in order for that to happen. But I, I don't see an ending to this right now. Oh, I hope that made sense. Oh, my gosh. Group number three. Not you making me question my life choices and on me thinking I can read tarot for you guys when messages like that leave me cross-eyed because I'm like what is it trying to say <laughs> I'm just translating guys I hope that made sense let's get you some oracle cards and some messages my group number three is my group number three is our next spicy encounter what can you tell us this person frustrates you
We have comfort. Yeah, you, you guys are comfortable together. We have rest. Stop. Someone is stopping. There's pain. Maybe this person's like getting, I don't know, walking away or closing out a big cycle. Maybe they're focused on their money, balance, and determination. There is some form of frustration here in this group, though. So we're going to leave that there. Someone could just be focused on their physical comfort, their home, their money. And that's why the love part is kind of like stop and go. It's interesting though. You guys will have to let me know if you're group three and how this resonates. Thank you, spirit. Let's get some messages from the trolls. <laughs> Let's get one more. Trust the universe. Maybe that's what you're trying to do is trust the universe. Simon says, we have um, keep it secret, keep it safe. Maybe this is a secret connection. We have coming in fast-ish. So something here has taken its time. This person takes their time. And then we have crybaby. You kind of did it to yourself, bud. Maybe someone here is living the consequences of their own actions. Maybe someone here does it to themselves too, especially if they kind of take on a lot or... Maybe that's how you feel. I don't know. Why am I feeling as existential? Lord, help. Let's get those for you guys. I'm not trying to run away from group three. No, I'm just kidding. Just feels a little different and complicated. And I wish I could have told you guys how you guys are going to be riding this person into the sunset. <laughs> Maybe you will. But your guides did not want to talk about that meal mine that's spanish for mine meal you could be saying uh, that person is mine we have x c y d another m r mr mystery icy uk and and h new hampshire ev electric vehicle listen if you drive a tesla you know that the laws and the rules still apply to you right <laughs> <laughs> i had to say that because lord these teslas i've been seeing out here <clears throat> i love them though i wouldn't mind one but um yeah all right we got surprise. So this is going to be a surprise to you. You don't see it coming. Um, surprise. This person's popping in. Or maybe you were a surprise. Oh my God, look, mine. Meal, mine. You guys, I think you guys both kind of feel that way, that you're each other's. You guys are going to be married one day. Oh, I didn't say it. Yeah, I did. We have tongue. You guys can tongue kiss this person. You can like their tongue. Are you serious? Surprise. Are you serious? You guys, it's going to surprise you. And you're going to be like, are you fucking serious? When you tell your friends the next day, they're going to be like, are you serious? <laughs> we have taste, tongue and taste. You guys could make out with this person. You could, I maybe you already know what this person tastes like. We have make the move. Again, are they going to make the move? Make the move. Just do it let's talk surprise are you serious let's talk there's going to be conversation that's going to leave you wondering wait are we gonna are we gonna do it or, or did you just come here to talk like is there more <laughs> listen your guides want to keep it a surprise at surprise that's why they didn't tell me about any details if you want details on other stuff maybe check another group and we have sleep you might be getting ready to sleep Oh, and we have rest. That could also signify the break that you're on. Maybe this person sleeps over or falls asleep. All right, my group number threes. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for riding this uh, wild ride with me today. I'm telling you, each one of these three groups took me for an adventure. I hope you enjoyed your reading, though. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.